Cars driving underneath Louisville. The Kentucky State Fair Board wants to build a tunnel like this from downtown to the south end. WDRB's Dalton Godby explains how it would work and how likely it is to happen. The idea would be to create a tunnel underneath the Kentucky International Convention Center with direct access to the Expo Center. It's all part of a big proposal being presented to lawmakers. You're looking at what could be beneath Louisville streets in a few years. It's a tunnel that would connect downtown with the convention center. It would be electric vehicles underground and uh, they would be either self-driving or they'd have a driver. David Beck is the CEO of Kentucky Venues and is one of the people leading the charge on the project. He, along with the Kentucky State Fair Board, hopes to bring the tunnel to Louisville. It would connect the convention and expo centers, but also open up other stops. It will benefit everyone in Louisville, the university, the airport, Churchill Downs, all the other businesses, so we see it really as an opportunity. The idea is being floated in an eight-year, $711 million redevelopment proposal that is now in the hands of Kentucky lawmakers. They'll have to decide whether or not to spend taxpayer dollars on the project. The responsibility is to do it the right way. And the legislature and their wisdom has given us some guidelines. We will follow those, and this uh, uh, proposal addresses me the things they've talked about. The tunnel is mentioned as a concept in the proposal and lists possible bidders like Southland Holding or Elon Musk's Boring Company. However, it's not clear how much it would cost. It's one of the most economical ways to solve some of the transportation issues we have. We reached out to Fair Board members Governor Andy Bashir and Ag Commissioner Ryan Quarles. Neither were available for an interview. Beck, speaking on behalf of the board, is confident in the vision but knows it could change. This thing is a living document. It will grow and develop as we see changes and trends in the marketplace. If approved, work on phase one of the project could start next year. Dalton Godby, WDRB News. You can read about each phase of redevelopment and view the full proposal by clicking on this story on WDRB.com.